السلام علیکم ڈیئر ویورس ویری وارم ویلکم ٹو مائی بلاگ سیریز بفور ٹیلنگ یو اباؤٹ دس نیو ایپیسوڈ ڈیئر ویورس ایف یو ہیو ناٹ سبسکرائب مائی چینل ایم ڈاٹ نعیم قاضی سو کائنڈلی سبسکرائب دی چینل اینڈ شیئر دی ویڈیوز ود یور فرینڈس اینڈ کلیگس ویئر ایز واچ دی انٹائر ویڈیو to support my channel i shall be really grateful for your kind favor so thank you very much dear uh, now let's come to the topic uh, dear viewers uh, this uh, special vlog is on the arore university located in the sin province of pakistan uh, dear viewers uh, this special university is uh, confined uh, to the art architecture design and heritage and uh, very great efforts have been made by the very competent uh, vice chancellor uh, professor dr samreen hasnain and her very uh, able registrar of arore university dr suhail sir hindi uh, who uh, very uh, tried their level best to uplift uh, uplift this university uh, this is a special university as i told you and here Uh, different uh, subjects like architecture art design and heritage uh, uh, will be taught uh, this is a newly uh, formed university and uh, when i visited this university i became really astonished uh, that uh, the first ever museum of its kind that is the vex statue museum has been uh, formed over here and uh, the Uh, statue the first uh, wax statue of Muhtarma bin Nazir Bhutto Shaheed has been displayed and uh, another uh, or on the way uh, to completion hopefully this will be inaugurated soon and uh, the uh, student of art and design will be able to learn from this particular museum uh, moreover uh, the art and design department uh, uh, here Uh, uh, they have uh, tried uh, to have uh, the public uh, uh, partnership that is the public sector uh, 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 coordination which uh, the uh, arore university vice chancellor and registrar have uh, have uh, organized some links develop some links with them and with such uh, a local uh, or public sector partnership uh, uh, the idea behind of it is uh, that the teacher the faculty and the students uh, will be the skilled uh, uh, persons and uh, the public sector uh, partnership will donate uh, the funds and uh, with uh, this support uh, when uh, the desired projects uh, will be finalized so the uh, out of the 100% uh, the 70% of the to total amount will be Uh, uh will go to the university fund whereas the remaining 30 will be distributed among the students and faculty so this is uh, one of the good uh, step uh, towards uh, the uh, fund uh, raising uh, independently and uh, through this uh, the university will be independently then uh, doing uh, their uh, activities so this is a good job and for the first time Uh, any university inside pakistan has uh, done so far and uh, this credit goes to the very competent vice chancellor and uh, registrar and uh, they are so encouraging uh, their efforts uh, are so wonderful and i do believe that the rest of the university in pakistan will follow their footsteps to earn uh, the revenue Uh, like uh, the arore university of uh, art architecture design and heritage so dear viewers uh, this uh, uh, sakkar is uh, historically well known whereas uh, this arore is uh, historically very established dear viewers uh, this uh, arore was uh, the capital city during the rai dynasty who started their rule from 485 ad until a 495 ad when they established their government so one of their first king established this aror as their capital city and this was remained as the capital city uh, until the arrival of the uh, 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 the brahman dynasty 
uh, who dethroned the Rai dynasty uh, in 652 AD and uh, even then the capital city was remained Aror but very soon they shifted the capital city towards uh, the Brahmanabad which was established at uh, Bambor. Uh, this is located uh, in the province of Sindh and once uh, this was uh, a very important and a very significant uh, seaport. So dear viewers, uh, uh, apart from uh, this important uh, uh, role of uh, a road uh, city, uh, here uh, a very famous battle was fought between the army of Raja Dahir and uh, the uh, Muslim journal Muhammad bin Qasim in 713 AD and which was very successfully uh, won by Muhammad bin Qasim. Uh, dear viewers, uh, uh, apart from a road, uh, this uh, Sakkar uh, uh, is the uh, uh, modern name, whereas in the ancient time it was known as Bakkar. So this uh, Bakkar has played a very vital role in the uplift of this entire Sindh Valley. Uh, here once uh, 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 Mehmud Khan Kokaltash from 1555 AD until 1574 AD he ruled and this uh, Bakkar was uh, his uh, capital city when he handed over it uh, before the uh, Mughal king uh, Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar in 1574. So as a whole this uh, Arod and uh, Sakkar uh, played a vital role in the history. Now. This Aror is playing yet another significant role and this time this is in the form of educational institution. So dear viewers, now let's uh, join to watch uh, this uh, very wonderful video. So uh, stay with us. Thank you. God bless you. Bismillah rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum dear viewers very warm welcome to my vlog series in this new episode we are going to visit Aror University of Art Architecture Design and Heritage right now we are entering through the monumental gateway of Aror University constructed in cusp art pattern one of the popular style of Mughal architecture After entering the main gateway, just in front of you is the fabulous and wonderful administration block. So dear viewers, right now we are sitting inside the office of uh, uh, Registrar, a very competent uh, Dr. Suhail Sarhindi, Aror University. A wonderful meeting followed by selection board under the supervision of very competent Vice Chancellor, Aror University, Professor Dr. Samreen Hasnain. Uh, this is Professor Dr. Samreen Hasnain, Vice Chancellor, University, Aror University of Art, Architecture, Design and Heritage. And our vision is to be the custodian of true shades of art, architecture, design and heritage. And we have launched four faculties uh, for the first prime year. That is Faculty of Design, Faculty of Heritage, Faculty of Architecture and Town Planning, and Faculty of Photography, Fine and Performing Arts. Uh, for these, uh, you know, faculties, my vision is that we should have the platform to, you know, sell out the product coming uh, as a cross-cutting disciplines from fashion, textile. I thought of boutique for archaeology, history. I thought of museum. And in a fine and visual art, uh, I thought we should bring in uh, the mediums or media which is not, you know, very common in Pakistan, just like wax. So we have uh, endeavored with the first wax sculpture of uh, Benazir Shaheed uh, at the Diamond Jubilee of Pakistan. And uh, I look forward to have students who have passion to work on the wax, stone and wood to actually revive the whole uh, history, celebrate the culture and appreciate the diversity. Dr. Suhail Sarhindi is giving us a briefing regarding this wonderful academic block. A newly constructed beautiful mosque. A wonderful view showing uh, modern academic blocks Aror University. The first ever Vex Museum at Aror University, first of its kind. As I discussed before, 
uh, one of the first wax museum on the university campus constructed uh, at Aror University uh, showing uh, the great uh, attitude of the art and design department and the efforts goes to the very competent vice chancellor uh, professor dr samreen hasnain and uh, registrar sohail sir hindi the qaidism wax sculpture is on the way to completion whereas uh, the uh, first ever uh, wax uh, statue of ex prime minister benazir bhutto has been displayed dr saeed ahmed mangi art and design department jamshoru university tarik dr zakirullah jan dr Suhail Sarhindi standing alongside the Muhtarma bin Nazir Bhutto Shaheed sculpture. So dear viewers, uh, uh, Dr. Suhail Sarhindi, uh, he is a registrar of uh, Aroor University of uh, Art, Architecture, Design and Heritage at Sakkar. So he will be telling us regarding uh, the University of Aroor. So please, uh, Dr. Sa. Thank you very much. Actually, the University of Aroor inaugurated on 12th of august 2022 and we have four faculties here faculty of design faculty of heritage faculty of uh, architecture and town planning and faculty of photography fine art and performing arts uh, we are offering currently uh, eight programs here bs civil engineering bs archaeology bs history we have bs fine art bs visual art we have bs environmental sciences and we have bs design we have we have fashion design and we have textile design uh, actually this is a newly established university we are just uh, starting our first ever page that is going to be uh, inshallah starting on 8th of november and that is the only university in since so far offering such kind of degrees especially related to visual art and fine art so that is in the heart of sakha and i welcome everyone to be here we have our own arod boutique we have our open air museum we have our manchhar lake model we have here the first ever pakistan's wax museum you can see in the background as well so i welcome everybody to join us and enjoy this journey thank you Thank you, uh, Dr. Sohail. And can you tell us that uh, you people have started some uh, uh, the uh, public uh, partnership uh, with the university uh, programs as you are talking uh, to us on the lunch? Yes, sir. Actually, we are offering the programs as I have already told you. We are offering the programs in fine art, visual art. We have fashion design. We have textile design. to you know encourage our students and the faculty members we have our own museums as well where we are putting the uh, the basically the the things that they have made especially when it comes to fine arts and we have aroad museum as uh, aroad boutique because there we are selling the products to open people open public they can come they can buy the things and that's how we are generating our revenue as well we are trying to have the you know self sustain uh, thing kind of and that's how we are moving forward with this so thank you very much dr sohail saab uh, uh, under the prevailing circumstances uh, as we know all that the universities are facing funding issues so such uh, uh, fund generating programs uh, uh, are so good and these uh, may be uh, highly appreciated uh, the public sector and uh, the university uh, partnership should be uh, very beneficial not only for the teacher community as well for the student con- community and it can increase the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the foreign exchange as well True. so thank you very much thank you very much Dear viewers, uh, this very fabulous and colorful building belongs to the Art and Design Department, which is located at the neighborhood of this very marvelous uh, administration block, Aroor University. 
So dear viewers let's have a wonderful visit to a place which is one of the best features of this Aurora University and it is because of the vice chancellor and registrar of this Aurora University Dear viewers one of the other significant features of this Aurora University is a canopy uh, veneered by the local artisan uh, underneath uh, Aror Fort model has been displayed. Late court, sir. Ah, acha. So Zakir Sahab, you have collected uh, blade coats. Yes, sir. This uh, is a blade coat, and uh, you can see that this is a blade which is made from this shirt. And yes, this is another important uh, tool which is leaf shaped. blade and all of these uh, tools can be dated to the uh, neolithic phase of the prehistoric time so which you see is almost uh, uh, 8 to 6000 bc so it must be this period so this uh, aror university is located on a very historic yes. Uh, area yes and uh, fortunately they have also Uh, constructed the museum on top of this mound as well, and which is a bit the uh, ruins model of the road. Yes, and here is another uh, blade uh, core. So you see that this is a special type of blade uh, which were used for making flakes through um, uh, pressure flaking technique. And when pressure was put. on these flakes and these uh, cores so it resulted into the uh, making of uh, blades and bladelets which were used by the ancient tribal society for hunting and for uh, cutting etc thank you god bless you dr zakir sahab professor dr zakirullah jan has uh, collected uh, very significant stone tools uh, on the basis of uh, manufacturing technique these may be assigned uh, from 8000 bc till uh, 6000 bc and uh, the collection is going on and on the basis of stone tool this uh, site is declared as uh, the uh, workshop area this is the landscape the contour of this uh, Rodi Hills the famous Rodi Hills well known for the prehistoric time so right now we are standing on the mount which is the highest point of this particular area and on the top of this particular place uh, professor dr zakir lajan has collected uh, stone tools of uh, neolithic period on the basis of uh, these uh, stone tools uh, uh, roughly uh, this workshop of uh, rodi hills can be dated uh, to the 8000 bc and uh, it goes on until 6000 bc dear viewers uh, just before you uh in this uh, video you can see that uh, the fort of aror has been uh, displayed in the form of a model uh, beneath uh, a uh, traditional uh, canopy uh, which is uh, veneered from a uh, palm trunk that is crowned by a roofing in the form of canopy thatched through the uh palm leaves uh underneath this wonderful uh, model has been uh added uh, dear viewers uh, uh the idea has been conceived from the literary sources uh compiled uh, by the time uh, when this uh, fight was fought between the troops of raja dahir and uh, the army of muhammad bin qasim around uh, 713 ce uh, the traces uh, uh, reported uh, at uh, the aror fort uh, those have been drawn here 
and uh, whatever has been discussed by the uh, historians who were uh, present during this fight and who uh, saw uh, this uh, very beautiful and elegant uh, aror fort the temple and the other uh, features have been very elegantly uh, uh, drawn over here and uh, uh, thus uh, this uh, model has been very uh, competently uh, 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 modeled uh, dear viewers uh, the way the fight was uh, fought between the two armies and uh, how uh, the infantry the cavalry the uh, uh, elephant uh, riders and the catapults Uh, which were placed through which uh, the stoning was uh, made on the aror fort uh, and finally the fort was won by the army of mohammed bin qasim so very elegantly very artistically this has been displayed one of the other feature beside the, the uh, first ever wax uh, museum of its kind on any campus of uh, uh, any university Uh, campus in pakistan and this is uh, because of the very uh, competent uh, vice chancellor registrar and their staff credit goes to them so well done dear viewers uh, when a right person is chosen for a right job resulting into a great success Bye bye Aror University